Hey everybody, welcome to the 2024 Walleye River Drone Conditions. Today we're flying on the Mighty Wolf River out of Chico's Landing, which is in the city of Orahulu. That is on the west side of the river out of the city of Fremont. So you go to Fremont and then you drive over the bridge or come in from the west side and you go down the river and you get the Chico's and you can launch your boat there, buy bait, do whatever. This is not an advertisement for Chico's. They let me fly there and I wanted to show a little appreciation. There are several other launches in that area uh, right out of the city of Fremont. There's a couple up on, um, you know, if you go north, uh, following the river up there's some launches there so we're going to get into the river conditions and what i'm seeing in just a little bit here but one thing to keep in mind when i am showing the drone conditions for rivers i will be just simply putting on the screen if we are looking upstream or downstream with the drone it's the easiest way so you guys know which direction i'm flying so without further ado let's get to those drone river conditions all right here we are looking downstream on the wolf river there's obviously some people fishing out there but the one thing i did notice when i was flying is how low the water conditions are they are definitely down this year um i would prefer to see a nice gentle rain for a couple days to bring those water bring that water level up so we get more fish in the system now as we start looking at this i'm going to be panning to the right hand side here in just a moment with the drone um we're going to see the uh, way off in the distance, uh, Lake Poygan and a little swath of blue carved through that marshy area. That is where the Rat River comes in. Gives you an idea where we're looking at here. Again, this is looking downstream. Now, there were a bunch of boats fishing south of Orahulu. Um, and I'm not sure if there's a lot of fish in the river there or not. It would make sense earlier in the season that that's where the fish are. But I also got reports from people that they're catching fish off of Gill's Landing, all the way up by Red Banks, and going up the system. So there are fish throughout the system. So don't think you just need to come down here. Um, you know, do your research and do your checking. So let's check the other end of this and look at the upstream section out of Orahulu here towards the city of Fremont in just a couple seconds and we'll see how that all looks. All right, so some shameless plugging before we do this. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do these for free and it really helps my channel grow, but in order to grow my channel, I need subscribers. So subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber. All you have to do is log into YouTube using your Gmail information, so your Google information, and then you simply hit the subscribe button. If you want to know when I make these, hit the little bell and then select all and you'll get an alert that I released a new video. So let's take a look upstream now that we've turned the drone around. That's the city of Orahulu to the left. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, correct me in the show notes, please. It's those weird pronunciations around here. I love looking at the marshes out in this area too. The marshes are what we need for these walleyes to really get spawning. So if that water level doesn't come up, it might be a very poor spawn year this year. So pray that we get those um that get that water level up you can see how far down it is looking at the right side of the screen normally those logs and trees that you see there are in the water right now a lot of them are actually sticking out and are not submerged at the moment and when the when those marsh areas off to the right farther upstream more than right here but when you are looking at those and they are not flooded that's where the habitat is not getting enough moisture that we need for a good spawn now this is the information i have if you have more information on this boy that'd be really great if you put this in the show notes so as we're flying the drone up to our legal limit uh, flying upstream on the Wolf River towards the city of Fremont. Notice how the fishing pressure just died off in this area. Now, when I was driving down here, I did notice a bunch of people fishing in the city of Fremont along the rock wall. I didn't really go north of there today. I just, this, this takes a lot of time. This whole drone flight you're seeing here will probably take the flight, the drive time, the editing, probably about two hours to get out to you guys. So this is a lot of effort on my part. All I'm asking for in return is a thumbs up on YouTube and just subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching, everybody. Um, get out there, do some fishing, and enjoy your time in the outdoors. Tight lines, everyone. Enjoy spring.